Hello friends, my name is Ty and welcome to the channel. You know, it has most definitely been a while since I've just been able to do an old-fashioned moto vlog. And why is that, you ask? Well, a couple of different reasons, I think. Well, you know, late last year I started taking the channel in a different direction. I'm trying to do videos that uh, are more fulfilling to me, to be perfectly honest with you. Trying to do more of that uh, topical vlog, the cinematic shots, you know, where you're actually putting, you know, a lot of time into figuring out what is the, the coolest way to film and lighting and everything that comes with it. And so really just taking the channel in a different direction, but I am glad to be able to do just an old fashioned motor vlog today. Good stuff. So just like new, huh? What could I be referring to? My oh my, is it a new house? No, a new car? What about a new motorcycle? The answer is no to all of those, but something that is probably just as important, and that is springtime. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot stand the winter time, and I hate being cold. As a matter of fact, is there anybody that really enjoys being cold? I know that I most certainly do not. And while I am super grateful to be living in the South, where you can pretty much ride year around for the most part, you know, there's just nothing like being able to ride on a beautiful spring day like today. And you don't have to worry about getting bundled up in heat gear and jackets. It just adds uh, an, an element of fun to riding motorcycles when it's not freezing cold. I mean, I think everybody would agree with that, or most people. If you ride, you definitely know what I'm talking about here. Because I think we all would agree that wintertime sucks, really, for the most part. I don't know about you guys where you live in your neck of the woods. But here, not only is it cold, but it rains a lot. It's just kind of dark and miserable it gets early way too or i'm sorry it gets dark way too early i can't stand those type of things i battle season seasonal depression all the time in that time of year and so it's just miserable now let me say this to my friends up north man i really feel for you i would absolutely just probably wither up and die if I had to fight winters like you guys do. Some of those guys up north are just now able to get their motorcycles out and ride on a consistent basis. I got one of my best friends, my best friend in the whole world, he lives in Wisconsin. And I think that guy is shoveling snow in the middle of July. It's like every time I talk to him, they've got snow, something's going on, it's freezing cold. Anyway, I feel for you guys up north and I'm glad your motorcycles are finally able to come out of hibernation. And as soon as springtime starts coming around, you know, you hear the birds chirping a little bit, the bees are buzzing, the flowers are blooming, and there is something, I don't know, instinctively, it's like your body and your mind just know, okay, it's time to wake up, it's time to change, it's time to get moving. You feel like you want to get outside a little bit more, get you some vitamin D and the sunshine and those type of things. Man. It just absolutely makes life worth living for me. I love this time of year. And when the time changes, oh my goodness gracious, a little more hours of sunlight, be able to ride the motorcycle after work, I just absolutely love it. said about how I love springtime and hopefully you do too what are some motorcycle related reasons that we love spring other than just the obvious okay we get to ride more let me start with this what about bike night and biker events man that is awesome again I don't know about you guys but here in this area restaurants have bike nights White Lightning has bike nights. There's other Harley dealerships that are in this area that have their own black, uh, bike night and events. And it's so much fun. And I enjoy it every time that I get to go. You know, White for as an example, as an example, 
White Lightning uh, just this past weekend had a had an event. They had club style Georgia, club style Tennessee. You know the guys that do the wheelies and the burnouts. If that's your type of thing, man, this was the place for you. It was a lot of fun, and they had a ton of people show up. There were a lot of different people celebrating the warm weather. It was a beautiful day and uh it was a lot of fun good times to be had by all and the great thing about springtime you see you start seeing more and more of those pop up in the area all good stuff and then another reason that might go along with that but i'm gonna say group ride and time with friends i like group rides i like dealership group rides depending on the event and who's going and how big it is i think those are a lot of fun for sure but also being able to get out and ride with your buddies just in an afternoon or for a for a long weekend even any of those type of things are so much fun also one of the things that i'm also thinking of as i'm brainstorming going down the road here is being able to i don't know do a full day ride with your pals and going out to restaurants everybody knows that bikers like to ride a couple of hours in one direction just to get a good meal before turning around and heading back home and then you know if you've got a buddy that lives out of town a little bit you can just kind of cruise out of town for a couple hours hang out with your pals and then come back so group rides and time with the friends in the springtime just means the world to me and i love it oh and how about this one motorcycle vacations a weekend trip is cool but if you can go somewhere further and spend time away longer on your motorcycle that is a good thing as well for sure and so i'm talking about this is something that i'm going to be doing here in less than a couple of months hanging out with a couple of buddies of mine we've uh, we've rented a house we're going to go out we're going to ride our motorcycles we're going to have a good time we're going to have some cold ones and some fellowship and hang out together for four or five days and you know what it's going to be excellent i've been looking forward to this for about a year this motorcycle vacation that i have coming up and i hope you get to do some of those as well oh my goodness let me think of another reason last but not least i have to include this this isn't motorcycle related but you know family vacations during the winter time most family vacations get put on hold till things are warmer and prettier and that type of thing so while i encourage you to spend time with your motorcycle pals and to spend time solo on your motorcycle as well i would encourage you even more so to have a family vacation to spend time with your family now if you're from one of those families where you can incorporate motorcycles and a family vacation more power to you i think that's awesome but that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. About the time that this video is published, my wife and I are going to be on vacation for a week, and it's going to be exceptional. So if you don't see a follow-up video from me for a week or two, that's, that's going to be why. We're just going to be on the beach kicking it. So take the opportunity to enjoy springtime all that you can. These nice temps way before summer gets here and starts cooking us all. Well, I tell you what, in the comments below, I would love to be able to hear from you what you guys are going to be up to this spring and summer, what you've got planned on and off the motorcycle. If you've got a really cool motorcycle vacation or motorcycle destination that you want to share, please do. Let me hear all about it. I think that would be super interesting and a great way for us to communicate. Well, thank you all very much for joining me today. I absolutely appreciate your time, just like I always do. I will see you guys when I return from vacation. You guys ride safe, and I'll see you in the next one.